Okay guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do exercise four for surface modeling. And it's gonna be of this container over here. All right, so let's get into this. All right, so we're gonna start off by creating our part and we're gonna name this part surface exercise four. As always, we're gonna start off with our sketch, insert sketch, choose the plane we need and now we can start drawing. So I wanna start off with a circle. Diameter of the circle is gonna be 50. I wanna put it in four points. Let's add some dimensions to center this. So I'm gonna do 230. Divided by two to center. It's going to be one twenty divided by two. Now I wanna one twenty. Now I'm gonna draw an arc. I wanna say it's tangent from here to here. radius 800 another arc Eight hundred. Now one touch trim. I want to trim what I don't need. Everything shaded in, meaning everything is closed. So we can get out our sketch. Out of our sketch. There we go. Now we're gonna extrude, but we're gonna extrude and we're gonna leave one side of one face open. All right, so if I extrude like this, it will be a complete solid. If I choose this one over here, it will leave the one face open. There we go, I want that open. Okay, good. Now we're going to insert sketch. Let's add a point. More or less over here. Let's give this some dimensions. So from here to here, it's gonna be 100. From here to here, it's going to be 125. Let's exit our sketch. At this point, I'm gonna add dart and plane. There we go. And I'm gonna give this some orientation on X. Minus 45. Insert sketch on this plane. Let's add a circle. Diameter of the circle is gonna be 60. Exit sketch and let's extrude this. I want to extrude this by 20. Now I want it open on both sides. There we go. All right. Now we're going to do a 3D sketch this time. So I'm going to choose 3D sketch. I'm going to create a line. I'm 
and I want to convert this line into construction line. I want to make another line. Construction line. Now, spline from there to there. I'm just going to make one more line here to make it parallel with that one. So let's just adjust a line like this. Good. We can erase this. I make this like sort of tangent vertically okay all right okay good that's more or less what we are looking for all right just adjust this arrow here so let's exit our sketch let's make another 3d sketch I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Spline from there to there. Excel our sketch. There we have another spline that we need. All right, now we're going to do one more spline going from here to the middle here. So again, 3D sketch, spline, All right, so we have placed the spline that's going to create this curve over here on the side. Let's exit our sketch, 3D sketch. All right, now we're going to do a few more 3D sketches. 
uh, to define certain lines that I need so we can do the surface that I want to do. So again, 3D sketch. This time I'm going to use reference. I want to choose this as a reference, this line and this line. And okay. Now I'm just going to convert this line. And I'm going to trim what I don't need. So I already just want this arc over here. Exit our sketch. We're going to do the same thing because I'm going to need this little contour over here. Okay. So insert 3D sketch again. I want this, this, this. Okay. And I want to convert these lines. Remove what I don't need. There you go. And we can exit the sketch. On the other side, same thing. Insert sketch. Reference. This, this, and this. Convert this. Trim. You can exit and uh, then make another one reference yeah here, here 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 and here one touch trim one touch trim all right so now we can get out all right so i think i have all the sketches and lines that I need to create the side of the container. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blank all these 3D sketches and then swap visibility. All right, so that's what I am looking for. Okay, so now here I'm going to go to freeform curve mesh and I'm going to define the U curves to be this line. This line and the V curves to be this one and this one. All right, you see, it has created the surface that I need. So let's do the same for the other side. U curves are going to be this one and this one. V curves are going to be this one and this one and there we have it okay so now we can unblank everything and now we are going to mirror these two surfaces or these two faces and mirror it to the other side opposite side there we have it. Now let's sew everything up. I'm going to say force object to sew into one solid. Okay. And all right, there we go. All right. So far, so good. All right, so this is what we intended, okay? All right, so now we are going to give this a thickness, go to shape, go to thicken, choose this object, and I'll give this a thickness of minus two. All right, there we here you go. All right, so let's add some fillets to the bottom here. Shade. I want to say that the radius of this is going to be 15. All right, our container is almost done.
All right, so now one more thing, we, I wanna end this off with one more thing, and that is I'm gonna create a thread over here on this face over here. So insert sketch, I'm gonna choose this plane, I'm gonna make a line here, convert that. Let's just draw triangle here. Make another line. I'm going to say that this line and this line are perpendicular. Just add me a measurement here. One millimeter. Three millimeters could be too much. Two. Yeah, let's do two. 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 All right. I want to convert this to construction line. I'm going to add a fillet. I do the fillet. Uh, one sec. this fill it of 0 0.3 or 0 0.2 0 0.3 mm, all right let's leave it at 0 0.3 let's just leave it at 0 0.3 Let's exit. Okay, now we are going to create a thread. This is the face. This is the sketch. I want to say it's going to be minus five, let's say. And it's going to go around about three times. All right, we'll just leave it at three times. Yeah, lead in and out. I want to say on both. All right, so it's going to create like a little finish over there. And okay, there is our thread. I want to finish off by also adding zero point two, maybe zero point. Three All right, I'm just gonna change the color here quickly. Make it gray. Okay guys, and here you have it exercise four surface modeling and it's of this container over here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and until next time.